everybody thanks for joining me today on my channel my name is Chris with Kristen's crafts and today I am bringing you the ninth process video for the September 30 days of sketches so with this sketch we have it looks like two three by four photos on a band and then there's a circular element in both the upper right and the bottom left corner with another kind of like band element on there so what I did was off camera I took a piece of white paper cut it in half and then used my little pokey tool and I stitched um, the stitches for a baseball onto the page. So these are going to be pictures of my grandson. He was um, playing t-ball for the first time and his big brother was actually helping with the team out so he was also in the picture. And uh, Preston was very proud of his very fancy Nike tennis shoes. So because the shoes are like that black and white, but they have that kind of lime yellow um, Nike written on the side, I wanted to try and pull out that lime green color. And also their shirts are green. So I'm going to go ahead and ink these stars. Um, I forget which color of distress ink this is. I want to say it's like apple something. Anyway, um, I'm doing the stars, and as you can see, I kind of went off the edge, um, but I'll try and cover that up a little bit. Um, I wish I would not have made it so square looking, but, you know, it'll, it's going to do. I like it. So now that I have the stars down, I'm going to go ahead and glue down the... Um, after I clean up here, I'm going to glue down the baseballs in each of the corners. And I'll just use my ATG for this. I do go back with a little wet glue afterwards just to kind of tuck down where the stitching is. But it will hold um, because I put the adhesive in the middle part of it. So now I'm just kind of looking and see where I want to put the two pictures. And I'm trying not to cover up his shoes, but I did want to kind of tuck them. The problem was is I wanted the picture that was in the foreground to be the picture of the two of them, but I didn't want to cut and cover anything up for the shoes. So I had to kind of maneuver around a little bit. So I decided to grab the navy part of this cloud paper and I'm going to use that to mat the photo of the two of them together. And then I am just going to go ahead and I'm going to trim down the picture of them with the shoes because I found this scrap of the red and I really liked it and so I'm just taking away parts that aren't really important and I don't know how you are but I'm it's kind of funny because when I'm cutting off the legs I'm thinking I'm cutting off a part of the person but in reality I could have zoomed in with my camera more and that wouldn't have been showing anyways so if you have to cut off part of the body part it really probably isn't going to make a difference if something is kind of, I mean, as long as you don't like hack off their head or something, it's not going to make a difference in the, sh in the picture. No one that looks at this is going to know my original photo had more of his legs showing in more of the ground. And the important part is the shoes are now the focus of the photo, if that makes sense. So I grabbed this rainbow paper that had the clouds on it. To me, it just kind of reminded me of outdoors and ballpark. And you're going to see that nothing on this page is really baseball themed other than the circular element that I made myself. Everything else is um, pretty much just standard stuff that I, I have from my um, pages. So I'm using this Air um, Chevron. I'm cutting those out, and those are going to be my bands that I'm going to have in each of the corners. I'm just going to tuck those down so I have the one pointing down like it's pointing to the photos, and then I'll have the other one pointing up. And it just kind of brings your eye to the center of the page. And I'm just trimming off any of the excess that I don't want to see. And so I have that one there. And now I'm just going to go ahead and look for my embellishments. So I'm grabbing, I'm pretty much sticking with like the Cool Kid and Chamel's, um, the, what's the, Muse Night at the Museum or whatever that one is. 
And then um, I think this one's Cool Kids still. And I'm going to grab the saying that says Good Times. Now you're going to see me moving it around a little bit. The reason I'm kind of like hemming and hawing is I really wanted to cover up where I messed up on my inking, where those two blotches are. So I decide that I'm going to put the good times up there, but I still want something to not make it look like the title's floating. So I'm just going to grab out some washi tape. So I grab this clouds and I'm going to put that up above and it covers up where I messed up with my inking. And then I'm going to grab a little bit of the Chamel. I think it's from little by little, the stars. And now I'm going to build my title on that. And so it kind of did two things. It gave me my shelf, but it also covered up the ink that I messed up. So now that I have my title on there, I'm just going to go through my embellishments and see what I can find. One of the things I grab is um, this little sticker and that's, I can't read it off camera. Um, I think it says like, hey boy or hey dude. And then I'm grabbing the stars. And I'm going to sprinkle those around. And I'm sticking mainly with like the red, the green, and then there's that blue. And let's see. I grabbed this other sticker that says nice. And it kind of like represents the shoes. And I grabbed this other one here. Um... Oh, it's something about being, um, let's be weird together or something like that. So I just thought it was cute because they're brothers. And um, I have another phrase sticker up top. And then I'm going to find some phrase stickers. And one of the, well, I grabbed this red tab. And I'm going to cut that in half and put a little bit above and a little bit below. And so it's just going to be another pop of red coming out. And then off of the... Um, the cocoa vanilla I grab um, three phrase stickers off of there I think one just says like brothers let's play and something else um it's hard to read when I'm doing my voiceover and my layouts in the other room now the last thing that I'm going to do is I am going to grab out my um sequence and these are from Spiegel Mom Scrap and I am going to sprinkle those around and what's funny is, is after I was all done and I had done my close-up video, the ones that are the glue dots that I put above the shoes, I forgot to put the sequins down. So after this is all over and after I've done the close-ups, I realize that I'm missing those. So I do go back and put those on there. I don't leave it as being the glue. And then I also find a lime heart that I'll put above their photo. But anyway, here's some close-ups for you. The link to everyone who's playing along is down below. Thanks so much for stopping by, and we will see you again tomorrow. Have a great day.